for this debate is, I think, well certainly my group, absolutely is against building on the green belt. Full stop. We're against it. We think it's a bad idea. Prove it. It's a in our Prove it. Will residents love the green belt? I live in a part of the world, I'm very lucky to live in West Wirral. We enjoy the green belt. And, 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 and that, should, that should continue. So that's the starting point for this Labour group. Tony Norby's absolutely right to emphasise that. Um, but, but the, seriously, the only person I've read in the last few months that has said that we should rip up the planning laws and rip up um, the, 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 all the regulations is, sadly, a, a cabinet minister, in, a national cabinet minister, Liz Truss. That's the only person I've read who says that they think we should go, go to that uh, uh, model, which I, I fundamentally disagree with. But let's just very be clear, what's driving this uh, exercise in the local plan, and I'm not going to get into yeah. the business of you know who, who should have made more progress, because I don't think that, that's helpful. We are, we are where we are. However, there are two fundamental points. One is, you know, whether people like it or not, the £12,000 in target has been arrived at through a national <coughs> methodology and a national formula prescribed by government, whether you like it or not. I have you challenged it then. And I have challenged it. I have written to Joe. No, you have not. I have. Secondly, we are where we are because the uh, officers, and I do believe that they uh, have, have uh, applied the formula in an objective way of saying we have insufficient brownfield land. And that brings us to one of the biggest issues around here. The two motion, opposition motions quote the 6,500 figure uh, as the basis for, for their conclusion that we don't need to build on the green belt. That has no robust evidence around it. And the, and Brian Bailey was very clear that if we presented that now to a government <coughs> inspector, our local plan would be found to be unsound. So we need the evidence. And I have written to uh, appeal asking for that evidence as a matter of urgency. Third point to make, Mr. Mayor, we have not made any decisions. This is a consultation. No decisions have been made to build on any part of the Green Belt. Legally, as part of the local plan, we are doing a consultation. We will look at all views. And I will. Uh, ask an independent expert to look at Professor Greg's work. You know, they've got to, to, to look at Professor Greg's work and all alternative views about the, top, the, the, the housing target. So that when we come to the end of the consultation at the end of October, hopefully we can be in a position where we have got credible evidence that will stand up to a government inspector because that's the test that we'll have to satisfy to, uh, uh, to get our local plan passed. So I would just say, let's. Put party politics aside, let's work collectively to achieve all of our end objective, which is not to build on any part of the Green Belt. But if we don't have the evidence, and if that evidence is not robust, the local plan will be refused and we'll be back to square one. And that's in nobody's interest. So I would just make a plea, support the Labour motion, I believe that is the sensible thing to do tonight, and reject the two opposition motions, which I do believe are based on Flawed reasoning and no and, and, we'll, and we'll have precisely the opposite effect from that that you would, you want to happen. So support the late motion. Thank you, Mr. Oh, Mayor. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, Councillor Chris Blakely, as proposed with the first motion, you now have your right of reply and may address the council for up to five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. First of all, I'd like to congratulate Councillors Liz Gray, Mary Jewell, and Tony Cox, Andrew Gardner, on their main speeches that have been a lot more prominent in the coming months and years. Uh, and secondly, Mr. Mayor, I'd like to thank you for allowing the special council tonight, because I think the issue about the Green Belt is an important issue. Other councillors have said why we called it a special council meeting, almost decrying it, don't want to talk about the Green Belt, let's stay hidden in our bunkers, now let's bring it out to the open. Uh, I think Tony Norby uh, asked about uh, the special yeah. special council. Certainly, Mike Solomon asked about the special council, and Brian Kenny asked why we're having a council. Well, but Councillor Kenny wanted to listen to head of law at the outset. He would have heard him say that we hit our views tonight will be fed to the consultation. So clearly, we're listening, Councillor Kenny, at the outset. That uh, doesn't surprise me in, in, in the least. Uh, so thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thirdly, I'd like to thank all people in the public alleys for taking up the time tonight to come along listening 
and all the people who contacted me and my colleagues about the Green Belt. I think their views are important and they deserve responses. We've heard from George, Phil, Tom Osher, and Phil Brightmore, all extolling the virtues of the Green Belt, all saying how wonderful it is, we don't want to build on it, Brownfield first. Pity didn't listen to people of Sogo Massey. People of Sogo Massey had their Green Belt desecrated. Sorry, you can hide behind all you like, Phil. You can say whatever you want. The fact of the matter is, you withdrew a brownfield site and replaced it with a green belt site. That is fact. You can't argue with that. That's fact. You sold, the people who sold the massive down the river by giving away their green belts. You can't argue with that. The rest of you, the rest of you in the lake group, the rest of you in the lake group, you all voted for it. So please, no crocodile tears tonight. tonight. No crocodile tears tonight. Because you voted for it. You voted for it in this chamber. You voted to give away green guns. So, so, it doesn't matter why. The fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, I hear you pleading tonight about how precious the green belt is. It wasn't precious in 2014 when you made it available, Phil. It wasn't precious last year when you voted for it to go through. Just as, it, just as Hoylex Green Belt doesn't give you pressure to you. A million pounds of council taxpayers' money you've wasted already. A million pounds plus more on this <laughs> as a well golf money. resort in Hoylex. But as my leader said, half the people don't want and half the people won't use. You know? And that, 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 what we're talking about wasted money, what we're talking about wasted money, let's look at this lesson you've sent around to the whole of the border. Thirteen and a half thousand pounds. And David Ball is writing to a further 10,000 people. It's a pity we don't have a newspaper that goes to every house. You've got to save that money, Phil. But there you go. Councillor Gray, I, I will say, nice making the speech and, and, you know, employing saving the green bells. But when you weren't here, which you've heard tonight, all your colleagues here, they weren't caring about the Green Belt. They were happy to give it away. They were happy to give it away. Mr. Mayor, do I have to keep being interrupted? Can they not just listen but change? He says he listens to people, but he doesn't listen to us. We wouldn't be in this mess if they had listened. So, I listen to everything that's been said. I, can't, I really can't believe, with your track record, you know, a leopard doesn't change its spots. You know, the Green Belt isn't safe under Will or Labour at all. It, it's not safe because you've already betrayed the people of Will. Yeah. You know, well, is. So I will go back to the local plan, Mr Mayor, and just finish off by saying the local, as I said in my speech, the local plan means the council decides how many houses it needs, produces a plan, indicating where they should be built. And that plan has to be approved by the Secretary of State. Mr Mayor, the council can put in a plan. It doesn't have to follow all this rigmarole. It says it has to follow. That is your smoking village. Yeah. Put your plan in. You can find the evidence. Well, support it. Well, support it. Submit it to the Secretary of State. Submit it to the Secretary of State. Bring it to this council, and we will, we will support your local plan yeah. if it's sensible, Phil. Yeah. If it's sensible, we'll support it. Sadly, you know, the motion is sensible, so we'll have to sort of vote on that tonight. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Now, Councillor Stuart Kelly, as proposed for the second motion, you have your right to re reply and may address the council for up to five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Um, there from the administration. Um, I'm not surprised because there's a number of points to pick up uh, from this debate. I'm afraid I'm very disappointed with the response of the administration to the motions of motion we have in front of us. Their only response has been platitudes, yabu to the Tories, and to dogmatically press on with such a flawed consultation. Yeah. All the members, Jerry Williams, Adrian Jones, talked about the consultation. Councillor Smith, Councillor Sullivan, I think, agrees with, with this assessment. The consultation responses are likely to be heavily opposed to these proposals. 
I have not had anyone, has anybody had anyone emailing them demanding that we build, build on the green belt? Nobody. Let me come to the facts having changed when I made my initial um, presentation. The facts have changed. I agree entirely with Councillor Norbury on that. Councillor Norbury told us that he was excited about the new evidence. He told us there was no need for a review. I thought we might be seeing a split in the Labour ranks, <laughs> actually in the tape chamber rather than in the pages of the national press. But then he disappointed by saying that he intended to continue to support the consultation. The problem with continuing to support the consultation, I might say, is that it this has needlessly tied up the limited resources of the planning department and the former planning department at a time when we should be getting those officers to properly challenge the figures not a political letter from uh, Phil Davis to the Secretary of State. There needs to be robust evidence in the challenge <coughs> uh, that is sent. And also getting those former planning officers to work more closely with Peel to prevent this name calling that appears to have developed between the management of Peel and the, uh, and the leadership uh, of the council. I also wanted to respond to Councillor Whitemore who I uh, hold in great esteem, and I know he wouldn't wish to know only mislead the council. But he did say in his remarks, I just want to pick him up on this, that we are not allowed to include empty properties in the figures. And in addressing this point, uh, Mr. Mayor, I will second the firm amendment from the Green Party to my most motion. I question this specific point with formal planning and asked whether any consideration of empty properties had been given in the table that was submitted to Cabot, uh, and was told I was referred to windfalls. Windfalls include an allowance for empty properties. Now, over the period of the plan, the allowance that is made for empty properties being brought back into use is 60 per year. 60 per year. That is just not good enough. Just not good enough. Exactly. Exactly. That even makes my argument more than yours. That's the empty property team far up to 60 a year. So why, why in the figures that you have accepted unconditionally are you accepting 60 as the allowance for the properties? It's a nonsense figure. It's a nonsense figure based on experience. Never mind this. This is your officer's report and you never bothered to question. Why have you only put 60 houses in when the empty property team are bringing 200 houses per year back into effective use? Let's get the figures right. That's our argument. Let's get the figures right. You make the argument for me, Captain Davis. You make the argument for me. Let me move on. Let me move on to the platitudes that I have heard that we will only build as a last resort. If it's a last resort, why is the first major consultation that's being taken, taken place with the public on a local plan to do with releasing swathes of green belt? Why you that? That's not a last resort. That's a first resort. It's a first resort. Two more things potentially. Another figure uh, that, that, uh, that, that has been, that's been given to us. You are consulting on the release of 4,900 acres of land to accommodate 4,900 houses. That's an acre. So, how are you getting this from? I don't entirely with the, uh, the assessment that comes to the And congratulations on their main speech. There should have been some assessments of the land that you are proposing to put into the consultation. But the land that's going into the consultation is developer land. This is our parcels of land. These are parcels of land that developers are saying they want to build on. Yes. Now, yes. what's wrong with yes. that? Yes. Well, why consult just because developers tell you to? You should have analysed the land for the use that it brings to the poor. Yes, it might be uh, in private ownership. But farmland serves a purpose. Yes, Mr. Mayor, I will conclude. I will conclude.
conclude. I started off with a maxim from, with a maxim from Maynard Keynes. When the facts change, you ought to change your mind. Let me finish with another maxim by Anon. When you're in a hole, Phil, stop digging. <laughs> George Davis has proposed that the third version, you now have your right to reply and you have to answer for up to five minutes. Right. Um, it's not big enough. Quick like the consultation pitch, I'll absolutely do this now. Right. Now then, let's, let's just uh, look at a couple of things. Um, it's been stated by myself, by most of the people on this side of the council, that Labour is against building on the green grass. That was our start, but that was the camera. Excuse me. Can you speak any more? Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, you Right. Councillor Davis, will you please proceed? Do you want me to carry on? Please carry on. Thank you very much. I want to make a statement that we have challenged uh, government's top down methodology and targets. And most of the things that Stuart Kelly has just been saying now are just absolutely, possibly, and totally wrong. That every single piece of land that is in this Green Belt Review has had to meet the five tests. And every single one of them meets the fire test. If you don't put them in, it'll be the goal the, the Secretary of State will come back and say, why haven't you included this? Why haven't you included that? That's why it has to be there. That will get before we go any further. We've written to Peel asking for evidence to rack up their figures of 6,450. That letter's gone from the leader. And I will willingly be reading any day of the week. I've also sent out a letter to the 91 planning permissions that are sitting in Will, present moment, that haven't been developed. And I've had a re response from around about 65 of them. And most of them are saying they are happy to be redeveloped. Ground for the sites. So, all that will come into the equation. I think, oh, and that's why tonight, and all it's, it's, you know, a lot of people have come here tonight. Because like me, like anyone else in this council chamber, they adore what happens on the will. And they don't want to see a broken up and put a huge percent of our uh, treasure land uh, be taken away from this thing. So like, like you, like me, everyone else who was here, you know, 20 odd years ago, 30 odd years ago, I remember looking out my window and I couldn't see a house till I seen Greece with the action of the village. So there was nothing there. Look down at Greece, we now can be full. Absolutely full. Am I right? And that's, that's what happens. Unfortunately, those things do happen when people move and everything else. So, all in this 15 year period, I agree with most people, and I'm going to try and make sure we can talk to government ministers to make sure they understand that Will is unique and we, we need to maintain that. So, we will be doing that, I can assure you. No decisions have been made and no decisions will be made until December. When we get all this back, it comes to a cabinet in December. So all this winding people up and keeping going, it's, it's absolute pure playing to the politics at all. Now, I think, as I understand it from uh, what's taking place today, New Hall and, and different places, you've had packed houses. That's what I want to see. Exactly what I want to see. I want to see everyone come along. And give us the reasons why we shouldn't be building in the green belt. And that's what's happened here tonight. People in the audience have done that. I've got no objection to that whatsoever. But I'm much rather see all sides of this council chamber, because the last few years of development plan, I was part of it. Right? So when, it, when Andrew said before about the unity development plan, that finished in 14, uh, and, and, sorry, finished in 12. And, and from then on, it becomes a local plan. Now, it's a change of emphasis completely. So we need to understand that all of us have got a responsibility to make sure that this plan is the best plan that we can get for the whole world. And that's what I'll be endeavouring to do. 
and we will listen to all of the, all the, uh, the views during the consultation, after the consultation, before we make a decision. And I give you that assurance tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor George Davis. Now we come to the voting. Voting firstly on the Conservative motion as altered. So the voting will be for or against the motion moved by Councillor Chris Blakely as altered. Please listen to your names. As altered. You accepted the. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, so the voting here is a recorded vote for or abstain or against uh, the Conservative motion uh, as revised. Councillor Abbey? Yes. Councillor Anderson? For. Councillor Berry? For. Councillor Bird? Yes. Councillor Blakely? For. Councillor Brain? For. Councillor Brightmore? Yes. Councillor Burgess Joyce? For. Councillor Caribbean? For. Councillor Cleary? For. Councillor Clements? For. Councillor Cox? For. Councillor Angela Davis? Against. Councillor George Davis? Against. Councillor Phil Davis? Against. Councillor Bill Davis? Against. Councillor Elderson? For. Councillor Ellis? For. Councillor Foss? Against. Councillor Gardner? For. Councillor Gilchrist? For. Councillor Gray? Against. Councillor Hackett? Against. Councillor Hayes? For. Councillor Hodson, Andrew Hodson. For. Councillor Cathy Hodson. For. Councillor Adrian Jones. Against. Councillor Chris Jones. Against. Councillor Tony Jones. Against. Councillor Jordan. For. Councillor Kelly. For. Councillor Kenny. Against. Councillor Lewis. For. Councillor McLaughlin. Against. Councillor McManus. Against. Councillor Meadon. Against. Councillor Mitchell. For. Councillor Mooney. Councillor Norbury. Against. Councillor Patrick. Against. Councillor Povel. For. Councillor Rennie. For. Councillor Rowlands. For. Councillor Spriggs. Against. Councillor Stapleton. Against. Councillor Stewart. Against. Councillor Sullivan. Against. Councillor Sykes. For. Councillor Usher. Against. Councillor Walsh. Against. Councillor Watts. Not voting. Councillor Whittingham. Against. Councillor Irene Williams. Councillor Jerry Williams, yes. Councillor Steve Williams, or and Councillor Williams. Thank you, members. Votes in favour 25, votes against 30, so that the motion is lost. So now to the vote on the amendment to the Liberal Democrat motion. All those in favour...
Councillor Foss? Yes. Councillor Gardner? Yes. Councillor Gilchrist? Yes. Councillor Gray? Yes. Councillor Hackett? Yes. Councillor Hayes? Yes. Councillor Andrew Hodson? Yes. Councillor Cathy Hodson? Yes. Councillor Adrian Jones? Yes. Councillor Chris Jones? Yes. Councillor Tony Jones? Yes. Councillor Jordan? Yes. Councillor Kelly? Yes. Councillor Kenny? Yes. Councillor Lewis? Four. Councillor McLaughlin? Yes. Councillor McManus? Yes. Councillor Meaden? Yes. Councillor Mitchell? Yes. Councillor Mooney? Yes. Councillor Norbu? Yes. Councillor Patrick? Yes. Councillor Povell? Yes. Councillor Venny? Yes. Councillor Rowlands? Yes. Councillor Spriggs? Yes. Councillor Stapleton? Yes. Councillor Stewart? Yes. Councillor Sullivan? Yes. Councillor Sykes? Or Councillor Usher. Yes. Councillor Walsh. Yes. Councillor Watt. Not voting. Councillor Whittingham. Yes. Councillor Irene Williams. Yes. Councillor Jerry Williams. Yes. Councillor Steve Williams. Yes. And Councillor Williams. Votes in favour 25, votes against 30, abstentions 1. So the motion is lost. So now we move to the vote on the Labour motion. All those in favour of the motion? So members will ask for a card vote on the Labour motion. All the voting will be for or against. Those in favour of the motion moved by Councillor George Davies, um, please listen to your names. Third recorded vote. Uh, Councillor Abbey? Four. Councillor Anderson? Against. Councillor Berry? Against. Councillor Bird? Against. Councillor Blakely? Against. Councillor Brain? Against. Councillor Brightmore? Four. Councillor Burgess Joyce? Against. Councillor Grubia? Against. Councillor Cleary? Against. Councillor Clements? Against. Councillor Cox? Against. Councillor Angela Davis? For. Councillor George Davis? For. Councillor Phil Davis? For. Councillor Bill Davis? For. Councillor Elderton? Against. Councillor Ellis? Against. Councillor Frost? For. Councillor Gardner? Against. Councillor Gilchrist? Against. Councillor Gray? For. Councillor Hackett? For. Councillor Hayes? Against. Councillor Andrew Hodson. Against. Councillor Cathy Hodson. Against. Councillor Adrian Jones. For. Councillor Chris Jones. For. Councillor Tony Jones. For. Councillor Jordan. Against. Councillor Kelly. Against. Councillor Kenny. For. Councillor Lewis. Against. Councillor McLaughlin. For. Councillor McManus. For. Councillor Meaden. For. Councillor Mitchell. Against. Councillor Mooney. For. Councillor Norbury. For. Councillor Patrick? Four. Councillor Bogle? Against. Councillor Venning? Against. Councillor Rowlands? Against. Councillor Spriggs? Four. Councillor Stapleton? Four. Councillor Stewart? Four. Councillor Sullivan? Against. Councillor Sykes? Against. Councillor Usher? Four. Councillor Walsh? Four. Councillor Watt? Not voting. Councillor Whittingham? Four. Councillor Irene Williams? Four. Councillor Jerry Williams? Four. Councillor Steve Williams. Again. And Councillor Williams. Thank you, members.
Votes in favour, 28. Votes against, voted, votes against, 26. Abstentions, 2. Therefore, the motion is lost. Say again, votes in favour 28, votes against 26, abstentions 2, therefore the motion is carried. So now we move on to item 4, which is vacancies. Members, Council is asked to note the change political balance at agenda item 4A, in respect of which conversations will take place between officers and group leaders before the next meeting. And Council is asked to confirm the appointment of Councillor Angela Davis at, at agenda item 4B. Do I have a proposer and second? Second. Proposed by Councillor Phil Davis, seconded by Councillor George Davis. Mr. Mayor, yes, Councillor Blake. Uh, if the Leader of Council is in the position to name the person who's going to uh, replace uh, Councillor Sullivan as Chair of the Business Committee, because our group would like to vote on it. Councillor Davis. Councillor Bird. So, so, so can, I, can I say, if, if, if it's not named, how do we register our opposition in this council chamber? <laughs> okay, let me ask a question then. Yeah. If, if nobody is is named, then will they have to? Will the name have to be given to the October meeting of council? Miss, Miss Mayor, to, to help um, uh, Councillor Blakely, because I, I always like to try and be helpful, uh, I'm going to formally propose that um, on the Business Committee, uh, Councillor Hackett uh, will become Chair, Councillor Jean Stapleton is Vice Chair. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mr Mayor. That's my proposal. Thank you. Mayor, there's a proposal before you, but there isn't a report before you this evening. Uh, so that's not an item of business for Council this evening. So we come to the October meeting. But in respect of Councillor, but in respect of Councillor Angela Davis, as named at uh, item 4B, that's been proposed by Councillor Phil Davis, second in Councillor George Davis. Is that agreed? Well, thank you, councillors. That concludes the business of this extraordinary meeting of the council, and I can declare the meeting closed at 9:06 p.m. Thank you.